Test of Courage. It sounds like a harmless challenge between children, but the dares in this video are anything but harmless. Today, we're going to show you some of the most courageous, risky, and life-threatening actions that people have ever taken. Included are fierce tests of courage at dizzying heights and stunts that provided real thrills. But we also show you a test of courage that was truly life-changing. It's going to be exciting, so stay tuned here at Wonderland. Number 8. Let's start our video with a man who is known worldwide for his notorious tests of courage, even if only a few people know his name. We're talking about the US American Nick Wallenda, one of the greatest tightrope walkers in the world. His great grandfather, Carl Wallenda, who was born in Magdeburg at the beginning of the 20th century, was already a legend among tightrope rope walkers, until he had a fatal accident during a stunt in 1978, falling from 36 meters from his rope into the depths. Nevertheless, his great-grandson also wanted to follow in his footsteps and balanced on a rope for the first time at the age of two. Since then, he has repeatedly broken records, and in 2013, for example, became the first person ever to cross the 457 meter deep gorge of the Grand Canyon unsecured on a rope. On November 2nd, 2014, Walenda then performed a double tightrope act in Chicago. In the process, he had a rope attached between two skyscrapers in Marina City. His dizzying stage took him from Marina Tower West across the Chicago River to the roof of the Leo Burnett Building. In the process, he covered 138 meters at a height of 200 meters and had to climb a 25 meter incline. But that wasn't enough of a thrill for him, as he then climbed the nearly 30 meters to the top of Marina Tower East on a wire rope while blindfolded. A TV station broadcast the spectacle live in 220 countries across the world, and to this day, it is probably the most extreme tightrope act of all time. Number 7. Let's move on to a discipline that is absolutely insane, and probably one of the most daring tests of courage in the world. We are talking about speed skydiving. Because for whom normal skydiving is not exciting enough, let himself fall from the sky at breathtaking speeds. A speed is reached at which every Formula One driver would turn green with envy. Speeds of 500 kilometers per hour are not uncommon. There is even a World Cup where speed skydivers compete against each other. The participants jump from a high of 4,000 meters and plunge headfirst into the depth. Whoever reaches the highest speed is the winner. It is measured in a virtual gate, a 1,000 meter measuring track at heights between 2,700 and 1,700 meters. The use of additional weights is not permitted. Jumping is done with standard skydiving equipment. The best of them is the Swede Henrik Reimer, who set a new record in Chicago on September 13th, 2016. The Swede plunged into the depths at an insane speed of 601 kilometers an hour, making him probably the fastest person in the world. By comparison, the Formula One speed record is 369.9 kilometers an hour and was set in 2004 by Antonio Pizzania in a BMW Williams. Number 6. The Spaniard, Aniol Sarasol says, is one of the best extreme kayakers in the world and is also always tempted to try something daring. Whether he's paddling between ice-cold glaciers in Iceland or jumping down high waterfalls, water is his element. This stunt, however, puts everything else in the shade, because Añol Sarasol says didn't just decide to master a gnarly rapid or waterfall. Instead, the 29-year-old wanted to ride his kayak down an entire volcano. To do this, he first climbed to the summit of a snow-covered volcano in in Chile with his kayak, and then dashed down the slope on his sports equipment. He reached a speed of more than 100 kilometers per hour before reaching the forest line. Here, he continued between bushes, trees, and thick roots that could easily have caused him to crash. However, the extreme athlete remained unharmed, and finally, Sarah Solsas reached a river on his kayak, where he performed the world's first double kickflip in a kayak in the middle of a waterfall. The 
entire trip was 25 kilometers long and finally ended in the open sea. Number 5. Next up is Bob Bernquist from Brazil. The now 45 year old is one of the best skateboarders in the world and has won a medal 30 times at the X Games. This makes Bernquist the most successful X Games athlete of all time. Although he still pulls off the odd stunt today, one of the most blatant acts of courage dates back 12 years. Back then, Bernquist dared to perform a so-called loop of death. That is, he wanted to ride his skateboard through a loop. This is already a daring feat that only very few skateboarders have ever successfully completed. But the Brazilian went one better. After successfully riding his skateboard through the loop, he dared a second attempt. This time, however, he removed part of the track and a huge hole gaped at the highest point of the loop. Bernquist thus put himself in real danger. But after a few painful attempts, he managed to do the impossible. Bob Bernquist stood the loop without seriously injuring himself. Number 4. Australian Robbie Madison is one of the best motocross stunt riders in the world. He regularly works as a stunt rider for Hollywood stars like Vin Diesel and even doubled Daniel Craig as James Bond in the movie Skyfall. He has also been part of the legendary Red Bull team for years. So, it's no wonder that he is regularly challenged to blatant tests of courage and stunts. One of his most legendary stunts took place on New Year's Eve 2008 in Las Vegas. At the time, he got it into his head that he wanted to jump onto the almost 30 meter high replica of the Arc de Triomphe and then of course back down again. Many stunt riders declared him crazy, but Red Bull provided him with a ramp and Madison took the plunge. He took a run up with his motocross machine and jumped onto the 10 story building with the help of the ramp. But that was only the easy part because in front of countless TV viewers around the world, Robbie Madison eventually jumped 18.3 meters into the depths. The landing was successful, but on impact he sustained a deep flesh wound wound between his thumb and index finger. He later declared that he had been enormously lucky and that he would not repeat the jump for any money in the world. Number 3. While some people get weak need at the sight of a 3 meter board in an outdoor pool, for others it can't be high enough. They are drawn to high cliffs, disused towers, or old bridges, only to plunge into the water. One of them is Dylan Balog, who climbed a 105 foot tall steel bridge bridge in West Virginia in 2016. That made the bridge the height of the Tower of London. Using thick stones, he first broke the surface tension of the water before jumping behind it himself. Fortunately, the experienced cliff diver was unharmed during the jump, which you should not attempt under any circumstances. Number 2. YouTuber and extreme athlete Chase Reinfort is also a real adrenaline junkie and now holds several world records for cliff jumping, is a base jumper and free climber. The American, who calls his YouTube channel Adrenaline Addiction, dared an extremely dangerous stunt in 2018 when he attempted a low altitude base jump a parachute jump from just 75 meters. In doing so, there's a big risk that the parachute won't open in time. And as if that wasn't dangerous enough, Chase Reinford didn't pull the parachute himself during this life-threatening test of courage, but built himself some kind of mechanism. Although the parachute finally opened at the right moment, the landing was anything but gentle. The base jumper landed in the middle of the treetops and had to fight his way back. Number one. The test of courage on our number one is not life-threatening like the other stunts in our list, but at least as crazy. Ashley Revel from Kent in England also put his entire life on the line, in the truest sense of the word. On a pure beer whim, the then 32-year-old pursued a plan to gamble his entire life savings at the roulette table in Las Vegas. To do this, he not only sold his Rolex, his BMW, and his golf clubs, 
he also sold trophies, sports medals, and finally even his own house. This raised about $135,300, and even a TV team took notice of Revel and his crazy idea. They accompanied him to Las Vegas to film a documentary about his crazy plan. So, there was no turning back for the Brit when he stepped up to the roulette table at the Plaza Hotel and Casino on April 11th, 2004. Supposedly, he hadn't thought about which color to bet on until then, and spontaneously decided on red. The color was indeed to bring him luck, as the ball landed on red, and Ashley Revel doubled his fortune to $270,600. That's it with our video. Feel free to write us in the comments which test of courage has impressed you the most. Like this video if you enjoyed it, and until next time, here at Wonderlane.